Have you ever imagined having a karaoke session in your bathroom, singing all the lines, melodies, and even those challenging high notes? Now, picture a massive whale, a humpback whale, hitting those music notes effortlessly. The feeling of awe and amazement you're experiencing right now is exactly what it's like to witness a humpback whale in action. In today's video, we'll delve into some fascinating and enlightening facts about the humpback whale in the wild. Belonging to the Balaenopteridae family, the humpback whale is a species of baleen whales that exist today. Baleen refers to the fringed brushes that grow in rows from the upper jaw of whales, and surprisingly, our singing maestro has no teeth. Who could have guessed? The humpback whale's music is a compilation of howls, cries, moans, and other vocalizations. These sounds are believed to serve as a form of communication for mating, attracting the opposite gender, or relaying important information to others in the distance and communicating with each other generally. Scientifically known as Megaptera nova angliae, which means long-winged from New England, referring to their extra-large pectoral fins, they are named humpback due to the small bump visible on their dorsal fins. They have pleats on their throats, dark backs, and nearly whitish bellies. Now, let's talk about their size. Adult humpbacks can be as long as a bus and weigh up to 40 tons. They usually reach a length of somewhere between 46 to 56 feet. That's about 14 to 17 meters in length. Furthermore, they often reach a life expectancy of 70 to 80 years. Interestingly, humpback whales are social to the extent that they deliberately interact with other whale species and even dolphins. As for their habitat, humpback whales can be found worldwide and live in all oceans around the world, undertaking one of the longest migrations of any animal on the planet. During winter, they can swim as far as 5,000 miles or up to 8,000 kilometers to areas with lower temperatures, moving from tropical breeding grounds to colder feeding regions. In warmer periods, Humpback whales spend most of their time feeding to store up fat, blubber, that sustains them through the winter. They sieve feed on crustaceans, primarily krill, by swallowing gallons of water into their mouths and then pushing it out through plates to filter and trap their prey. In addition to krill, they also consume small invertebrates and fish like sardines, anchovies, and mackerel through this filtering process. Surviving by their instincts, these enormous creatures employ various methods, including sounds, pectoral fins, and even bubbles to disorient, herd, and catch their prey. One feeding pattern called group bubble feeding involves creating curtains of air bubbles to gather prey together. Once the fish are enclosed, the whales lunge towards the ocean surface swallowing the trapped prey as they push upward through the circular bubble net. Humpbacks are skillful swimmers and use their large tail fins, known as flukes, to navigate the water and even breach completely out of the water. They take great joy in leaping and landing with a huge splash, creating a spectacular sight for whale watchers. In terms of their social structure, humpback whales have a loose family structure and often prefer living alone rather than in tight-knit family groups. Occasionally, they can be found traveling in pairs or small groups that disperse after a few days or weeks, sometimes even after a couple of hours. An exception to that rule are groups that consist of a mother and her young calves. However, some other longer associations have also been observed, particularly during group feeding which brings them closer together and provides mating opportunities. The mating process of humpbacks is lengthy and involves a competitive ritual among adult males during the winter. They display dominance and strength by charging at each other and tail slapping around the female. These displays rarely result in any significant harm. Another interesting group activity is removing parasites from each other. 
Due to the structure of their body, they cannot reach and remove parasites on certain body parts. That's when being part of a group comes in handy, because other individuals are able to remove these annoying parasites. They usually reach sexual maturity at the age of 5 to 10 years. After mating, the pregnancy period lasts approximately 12 months and newborn calves weigh about a ton and can measure up to 16 feet or 5 meters in length. Female humpback whales typically give birth to a single calf. Now let's address the question of how harmful humpback whales can be to humans. Humpback whales are naturally gentle and docile animals, making it rare for them to harm humans. However, their curiosity may lead them to approach boats, which can initially startle passengers. In rare instances, accidents have occurred, such as a Canadian woman who died in 2015 when a humpback breached and accidentally landed on the snorkeling boat she was on. It's safe to assume that they don't harm humans and destroy boats intentionally. Despite their acrobatic displays, humpbacks are generally aware of their environment and tend to avoid direct contact with humans, but accidents can happen. Furthermore, in 2021, there was a notable incident involving Mr. Packard, a lobster diver who was briefly swallowed by a humpback whale. While diving, he found himself in the whale's mouth at a depth of 45 feet, about 14 meters, but he was fortunate enough to be released after the whale shook its head. This incident highlights that such accidents can happen. Luckily for him, the humpback whale immediately realized what was happening and spit him out. These rare incidents prompt people to question the behavior and nature of animals they perceive as domesticated. Rest assured, if any changes occur, we'll be sure to provide you with updated video content. Being large aquatic animals, humpback whales face threats to their lives. In the past, the humpback community suffered greatly from relentless hunting, resulting in a drastic decline in their numbers over time. In the 1990s, the whaling industry harvested numerous humpback whales for meat, baleen, and fins, which led to their classification as extinct-bound. However, thanks to conservation measures, the humpback whale population has been increasing and they are now classified as least concern. However, that was not always the case. In 1960, the humpback whale almost became extinct because at that time their population size was estimated to be only about 5,000. Luckily, their population size stabilized in the following decades. Nonetheless, they still face some threats from ongoing hunting in certain areas like the Grenadines and Greenland, as well as collisions with ships and entanglement in fishing gear. Apart from humans, there are two other known predators that hunt and eat humpback whales. The major predator is the orca. It has been observed that orca hunt in packs and try to overwhelm the larger humpback whales through strength and size. It can become very challenging for a humpback whale to defend itself from a pack of orcas, especially when it is alone or if it's a juvenile. When part of a group, humpback whales often build a formation and try to protect themselves collectively. Their large flippers can come in handy as a good defensive tool and can damage the attackers thanks to the immense difference in weight. There have also been observations of great white sharks attacking humpback whales. However, such incidents are pretty rare compared to orca attacks. It has been an exhilarating journey exploring the world of these magnificent creatures together. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Thank you for watching until the end of this video and we'll see you soon with more captivating content.